Hello and welcome to my channel once again. Um, today I'll be preparing just uh, some meat, um, some country style steak, country style ribs, uh, which I purchased. And I decided I said I was going to I'm going to uh, uh, cook it with some jerk seasoning, along with uh, and I'll do it in a slow cooker. It's very simple. I purchased uh, just the three of them. Uh, country style uh, ribs um, and I'll do a dry rub on them and then put the jerk seasoning on and we'll let it rip in the in the slow cooker so I'll be back so here we are my dry rub is going to consist of uh, some onion powder some all-purpose seasoning Saison complete, and some garlic powder, and some parsley. I'm not going to put any salt here because when I put my uh, jerk seasoning on, this is uh, already has the salt uh, content in it, along with the spicy, the, the hot peppers, and everything. This is actually a complete jerk uh, seasoning. You can use this without using anything else, but I like to season my meat. Uh, before I put this on here, so it, it just just a little uh, of my little uh, dry seasonings that I put on there. So we'll go with like a quarter teaspoon each of uh, garlic powder, onion powder, um, onion powder, and and we'll do it on both sides. Onion powder, garlic powder, and some all purpose seasoning. Yeah, we just pack that on there, press it on, get all sides, all sides coated, turn that over. Don't be afraid to handle your meat when you're cooking. So, with that, <clears throat> I just use some parsley flakes on there. Give it a little more grain on there. Just makes it look very, uh, very nice. So. Now, put my dry rub on there, all rubbed in and pressed on. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a tablespoon of my uh, of the jerk seasoning. Let me wash my hands. tablespoon of the jerk seasoning on here and it, this is the it's it's the hot and spicy um, it's not mild it's uh, the really hot one so what you usually do um, a little goes a long way so you'll try you you'll just smear this on tablespoon on one side and you put another tablespoon on the other side then we let this sit for a while before we put it in the slow cooker in the, in the meantime you just get your slow cooker all prepped turn these over and we'll get some I have to clean my spoon off before I do that again. And you just go into the bottle and get it on there on all sides. You can either use the spoon to spread it on there or you can use your hand or brush. But this is I find it so very convenient so 
I just do that. It smells awesome. Yeah, so you can turn them all around, mesh them together. All right, I'll let this sit here for about 30 minutes before I uh, before I put it in the slow cooker. Just let the seasoning uh, get into the meat. I let them marry together. I will be I'll be right back when I'm ready to put them in the oven in the slow cooker. Okay, guys. Um, now I have my um, my slow cooker set to the stove top setting uh, on the on position, which is going to generate that heat. It's going to heat it up like if it's on the stove top. So I I need that heat to sear both sides of the uh, of the the ribs when I put it in there, so it's to seal those juices in. So um, I left it on for about ten minutes. Once it's get and it's 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 now really. Uh, has that good temperature um, I'm going to put these in there now and I sear both sides once that's done maybe uh, two two minutes two to three minutes on each side and it's seared then you'll switch over to the slow cooker setting and you'll have the slow have it go to the slow cooker setting for about two hours two and a half hours okay so here we go Now, just want to get you closer here. Sorry about that. We'll just take them. Here they are. And you get that, you must hear that sound here, that sizzling sound. That means it's nice and hot. And it's ready. So once these are in here, I'll have them sit. I wouldn't trouble them for about two to three minutes. Let them sear and then turn it over and for another two to three minutes on the other side and I'll be right back now okay, guys uh, I'm ready to turn them they're just starting to get a nice color there Awesome. So you leave this on this side for another three minutes before we switch to the slow cooker setting and then we leave it in there for two to two and a half hours until it's uh, cooked nicely. <clears throat> it's going to spring its own juices and it's going to cook in its juices so there's no need to add any any water to this or any uh, chicken broth or anything but it's going to um, and we'll follow we'll follow along because you have to check on it to see if it's going to just drying out or not if it does dry out um, you can add some chicken broth or a little bit of water uh, just to keep it moist okay so uh, we'll be right back when we're ready to switch it off over to the slow cooker setting Right, now that we've seared all sides, uh, we'll just come down to the to the settings for the slow cooker and uh, have it and set it to the slow cooker setting. Right here it's on the oven setting, so you go back, slow cooker, uh, high and we'll do uh, two hours, two, 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 two hours, for two hours and then we'll check it and if it's, if it's tender enough, we'll take it out. If not, we'll give it another half an hour. 
So we'll be right back. We'll just cover this and just let it go. Set it and forget it. So it has just been about two hours and I'm gonna go back into the into the slow cooker and uh, see how we're coming here. And I'm, I'm sure, I already have my plate. I'm sure it's, it's perfectly done right here. Let's have with some mac and cheese and some, some greens. But you can see, it's, it falls off the bone. It is so succulent and, and delicious. Oh, here we are. Country, country style pork ribs done in the slow cooker. Enjoy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe so that you'll get all the recipes that I'm ready to upload. Thanks again.